Hey everybody, Mono Weezum here, back in the August channel update video, which was about a month ago now, because it's almost September. I told you I had two new playthroughs coming, one being on PC. Well, this would be the PC playthrough I spoke of. It is a game called Chroma Gun. I'll be perfectly honest with you, I know nothing about the game. <laughs> I didn't purchase the game. Uh, it was sent out by the developer, uh, Pixel Maniacs, I believe, a, a man by the name of Christian. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a run through here. I downloaded it, and it's available on Steam, of course. What I ran into, uh, there were actually control inputs, and I just briefly looked at it. <laughs> and... I'll admit it said uh, I think shoot was control, and I'm not quite sure exactly what anything entails. I just figured we'd jump into it totally blind. Uh, it has been a long time since I've had to use control uh, to shoot anything, so we may play with some of the <laughs> uh, controls as we progress, but I have to say it looks pretty cool uh, thus far. And let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so I've seen... I don't, don't want to go into it, but uh, these are, you know, music, sound effects, mouse sensitivity, uh, inverting your access, I guess this will help. This this game seems to be based on colors, you know, blue, red, and yellow. Uh, subtitles, motion blur, shadows. So, uh, we want to go back, and... Oh, hey! Oh, well, okay, I was, just, <laughs> I was thinking, well, we'll just skip right here to the end, but as you can see, it's not selectable, so uh, let's get started. Again, this will probably be very rough, but I'm somebody that likes to kind of experience things on the fly, and completely blind, this is this is about 101% blind, so all I know is it was sent out to me, and it's Pixel Maniacs, and the game's called Chroma Gun, and we use uh, the little gun here on the screen. It's about the extent of my knowledge, so uh, let's see what kind of a mess we get ourselves into, shall we? Oh, hey, I'm, I'm doing this. I thought this was a cutscene. All right, so welcome to Chroma Tech. We got Swanky. Elevator music? I assume this is an elevator. The music and... I believe they are located in uh, Nuremberg, Germany, so... Welcome to the Chromatech Test Lab. Very you're modern. You're here because you're the best of the best. Not because you were in need of 10 bucks and nobody else signed up. I mean, who would have given you that idea? Well, well. Before we start, we need to test your general mobility. Make your way down the corridor towards the exit door. Note that the exit is the part of the wall that looks different from the other parts of the wall. Also, it says exit. Interesting. Of course, we're not going to do that. We're going to explore a little bit. That's what I do in these games. Don't know that that's necessary. Uh, unable to play file. Yeah, I don't know what OK is. Uh, does not say exit. Can we talk to you? Does she have like rose colored glasses on, or is that like a, a European headpiece for the mic? I don't know. I don't seem interested. Let's. What happens if I click? Oh lord, we zoom in and slow down. <laughs> okay. Uh, glasses, okay. Hi. <laughs> Very lifelike. Can we have an orange? No? Okay. Uh, so I guess she's the uh, strong, silent type. So. Very swanky. Not seen the exit label just yet, but hey, we're getting to run around, have some fun here. Interesting. Ah, there's the exit. Y you know, usually the exit is in red, <laughs> but uh, whatever, so we'll proceed. Alright, can we go back? No. Alright, now, okay, so space is jump. We got an achievement for that? I don't know if that's... Uh, who knows. Color attraction. Worker droids are attracted to all nearby walls of the same color and can be suspended midair. However, that's not very nice for its worker droids. Okay. Sensational! Please pick up the semi-automatic nano-acrylic projectile firearm right in front of you. Well, this is a nice way to do things, isn't it? <laughs> Shoot, yes, very cool. 
Right, it's a nice sterile laboratory style of This is the Chromagon patent pending that you've heard so much about. <laughs> okay, we're kidding. Of course you haven't heard about it. We here at Chromatech know how to keep secrets, and so should you. Now, paint the worker droid to move it out of the way. Then exit the room using the room exiting technique you've learned in the previous round. <laughs> I feel like I should know whoever is voicing this. It sounds very familiar. So, we're set up for yellow, it appears, and what was... Let me try. Mouse. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually using left click. Achievement unlocked right in the head. So... It's interesting. Okay, and we can back out. Cool. So hopefully I can just use the mouse. That's well, a little bit more convenient. It's strange this keyboard is bigger than the keyboards keyboards of old. I'm accustomed to. And so what happens? He's already yellow. Ah. What happens if we? So I assume it has to be a panel that is not... Can we shoot the regular colored pen? No. So it needs to be the blank walls, and then they're drawn to them. So, uh, lesson learned. Oh, we need to do that or not. Worker droids. A friendly reminder, the more vicious a worker droid looks, the more vicious... I feel like the announcer should tell us that. Sensational! Please walk towards the exit again. We're confident you've acquired all the necessary skills to complete this simple exercise. Uh, yeah, so I guess the exit is the way we came, right? They, they overestimate me, clearly. <laughs> Oh, I guess it has to be okay. Gotcha. Can we pass through that? Yeah, apparently we can. Okay, well, uh, simple, simple solutions. So now that's the only nearest patch I can see. So pull him back. A little bit more advanced, I suppose. And can we uh, color a wall? <laughs> apparently not. That zooming in. It'll get you every time. So it's nothing. Uh, oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. I'm making this, I think, a little too more complicated than it should be. But hey, <laughs> that's that's very nice detail there. I'm not sure what it's on the floor for. All right, up we go. Killers. Killers can be mixed. On canvas, if you paid attention in preschool, you should get the idea. True story, art the was paint never the much chroma gun fires is a specially developed blend of partially semi-lethal, dangerously radioactive isotopes, and will paint any surface not designed not to be painted by it. That being said, please do not sniff, touch, or especially lick the paint. Is, is, that, a, is that a challenge? <laughs> So it looks like now we can shoot that. Possibly. Alright, so that we uh gotta get him out of here. So we're gonna send it back that way, however. Teleport him. Wonder if we need to send him back this other direction. Cool deal. I'm getting used to this cutscene here. <laughs> Uh, color defiant particle meshes only points pellet oh that was much better only paint pellets travel through particle meshes the attraction that chroma gun generates is blocked by them just like worker droids people the chroma gun itself and teeth not 100% sure what, uh, what the story there is but we'll figure it out so, can't shoot that uh, Travel that far? No. Okay. 
Oh, this must be... Okay, okay. So we can shoot through this? That's what I'm guessing. Uh, and of course, that would be the doorway that we need. So... Let's think about this. We will shoot that. <laughs> Suspended perfectly between them. And we have no color... Hit a true roadblock once again. Can I get outside and read that? <laughs> yes, let's let's try this once more. Only paint pellets travel through particle meshes. The attraction of the chroma gun's paint generates is blocked by them. Okay, only paint pellets travel through particle meshes. I don't guess I quite understand that. <laughs> Which is a bit of a problem. Uh... We just... no. Seems like we should be able to push them. I'll be honest. Uh, instructor man, if you could be so kind as to come back, I would love to uh, get out of here. Escape. Right. No. It's nothing. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to leave. So, yeah, I just, I have no clue. Oh, yes, of course. Well, isn't that lovely? Uh, I guess I was paying attention to saw that. I am very tired, but that's, that's still pretty lame. <laughs> On my part, so. Let's try to manipulate this a little bit. That was so simple. Uh, we made it very complicated. But hey, that's what we do. That's, that's what we do. Alright, worker droid, the friendly miner. More vicious looks, more vicious is. Please find and subsequently step into the trigger. So I assume this is the trigger. Sensational! Please do not leave the trigger to ensure the continued opening of the exit door. Okay, so that's yellow. <laughs> And he is not. Oh, we can just totally stay there. So, do we leave now? Because he is in the trigger, correct? Yes, excellent. Okay, that part. We got. Sensational! You have successfully understood the correlation between triggers and worker droids. That makes you more intelligent than 39% of test subjects. And 97% of test monkeys. That's always good. It's set up there, so blue though. Uh, this is not a big deal. I guess that's just a line on the floor. <laughs> so here we are. Kind of threw me off thinking of the color. Uh, what are we wanting to have happen here? This trigger will open that door. And then it looks like the sort of teal line here to open that one is controlled by that. So, mark it, shark it, and go. But that's an exit in there. So we need another uh, trigger here to keep that open. On the pink line, we'll just call it pink. <laughs> it gets lots of canvas here. Oh, hey. So, I guess there's nothing needed in that case. Okay. Killers! Killers can be mixed on canvas. Like I said... <laughs> the attraction that Chroma Guns Paint generates is based on a very complex set of mathematical vector operations. So instead of not understanding me explaining it to you, try it out now. Well, that's logical. Alright, so... <laughs> Blue trigger will open that door, and red trigger will open this door. And so I'm assuming if we shoot this... Actually, okay, okay, so if we shoot this and the droid, it'll pull it here, same here. But if we have both of these highlighted in yellow, it should centrally balance in the middle plane, correct? Let's find out. All the way to the wall. 
balanced. Ah, okay, so things are slowly taking place <laughs> for us. Uh, so, droid man here, nothing else in this place. And that would mean that once again, we can equalize everything. And bigger lock is open. I feel really bad about that part where they were just in a line and I, I didn't see the exits. <laughs> so, wait, I've never done this yet. I mean, to destroy it, I was just curious. So, alright, now let's think about this. This is centrally located, right? So I'm thinking, is this an equal distance? I, I didn't realize it was already open. It's good you can walk through the wall. Well, I was gonna turn around, but it's good we can walk through. I'm hoping that it stays that way. That would make things significantly more complex. Killer attraction worker droids are attracted to all nearby walls of the same color and can be suspended midair. However, that's not very nice. It is worth noting that unlike the ones you've encountered in the previous rooms, <laughs> the worker droids in this next room are not deactivated but hibernating oh no much like you and me they do not take kindly to being shot at with paint pellets please do not disturb them because even though they're not designed to kill you upon contact due to miscommunication and engineering they will lovely uh it, that's so true though anytime you involve engineers or something i was simply shooting the vase i figured it would like shatter and be really cool and we inadvertently painted that canvas wall you can still pass through them but it is shielded so i'm assuming now it's just more of like a mine effect you'd have to physically touch it right. um i'm very tempted to shoot this though nothing okay and that's all right, well, hey, we'll call that good for now. Uh, so that would kill me, from what I understand, right? It's not seeking me, it hasn't been shot, it does not like being shot. Cares are good. Okay. However, we've got a situation where we're going to have to get it there. And how can one achieve that when it's way over here? Will it attack me if I shoot it? Indeed it will. <laughs> okay. Not quite sure how the attack... Okay, the attraction is strong enough to... Circumvent any evil. I kind of feel like we need to be attacked. Achievement unlocked down there. But I feel like we need to be attacked so I know what it does. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Alright guys, as it would turn out, this is actually the end of Chapter 1, Welcome to Chromatech. Apparently it's divided into 8 floors. Uh, I learned this, I progressed a long, long time waiting for like this dramatic thing. I was kind of thinking, hey, maybe that achievement with the 1 and the 2 might be something. Can't really see them well with the Steam, you know, setting that small. But I came back in, I played for about... Oh, I don't know, an hour and a half or something crazy. And I was like, man, this is like, I thought this intro thing would be like 10 to 20 minutes, maybe. <laughs> and uh, needless to say, I figured out when you hit escape there at the top in very small letters, you can see like uh, chapter two, floor one or chapter one, floor eight, etc. This was the completion of chapter one. Welcome to Chromatech, floor eight, where we left off looking at this door and up the staircase. That's going to be, of course, uh, chapter two. Uh, uh, as it turns out, I made it to chapter 3 <laughs> in that time that we played, and uh, the crazy thing is, when I was playing through that, uh, when I went back after having done it, I mean, you just breeze through these things. I wasn't having to commentate either, but it was just click, 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 done. And uh, so, like I said, though, I had a pretty good time here. Uh, I will warn you right now, at least through chapter two and possibly three, uh, you'll have points where I'm in the middle of the game, and I'm like... 
you know, this is getting kind of long. I think I'm going to end this and so on and so forth. And that was just me totally oblivious to where we were actually at. I was under the impression it was still like an intro type thing. But uh, like I said, let me know your thoughts on this. Again, I say that several times too, but they will be meaningless because it'll probably be like chapter two, floor four or something like that. But uh, uh, I apologize in advance for that, so just be ready for it. Uh, chapter three and beyond, I'll try to clean that up. I'll try to play, pay attention to it. But, uh, let me know your thoughts on Chrome again if you want to see some more of it. I can tell you right now you're going to see more of it because I've already recorded a couple other chapters uh, inadvertently. But, uh, it's pretty fun, I have to say. I think if I was like not as tired, it would be even more fun. But uh, having a good time, and uh, hopefully you are too. Again, it is available on Steam. Big thanks to Pixel Maniacs for sending this out. And uh, like I said, uh, if you enjoy it, leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and we'll try to do some more. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter, wannaweasem.com, skylanderclub.com. I'll catch you back here for some more action from Chromagun.